Hey guys, thanks for clicking on the video. This is my very first actual tag video. I'm called I Am a Vlogger. Um, it started, I've seen a couple of these a long time ago when I first started vlogging and everything. And then, um, actually, It's Rocks got it started all over again uh, last week when she did her um, tag, I'm a Vlogger. And we kind of all have just kind of jumped on. You know, a lot of people who actually watch her, and then I see some other people that I actually watch were actually doing it. So I said, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. All right, so I'm going to go through these questions and just let you get to know just a little bit more about me that you may not know and some that you may know, and heck, it's going to be fun. Okay, so the first question is, what kind of channel do I actually have? My YouTube channel, I would have to say, is just like me. It's just open. It really isn't any specific type of channel. Um, entertainment for the most part, you know, but you may find anything on my channel. I don't think that there's any limits to what it is that I can actually do on the channel. It's kind of a um, very self-indulgent thing for the most part because I come on and I do whatever I want. And no apologies. I do whatever the hell I want. So that's basically it. It's very, very open. It's whatever my mind is doing for today. And God knows what that's going to be. Second question. What inspired me to do my channel? A very good friend of mine I named Terry Gelsheiser. She actually, she was after me to do a vlog. Uh, me and Terry have actually been friends since we were in elementary school. And she's always on me to do something. And she's always right. For whatever reason, Terry's always right with the direction that she points to me. She was on me to do a vlog. And a blog, sorry, I'm sorry, to do a blog. And I thought about it and I said, you know what? I've read blogs and sometimes all the reading, like, child, okay, I'll get back to it. And then sometimes people never get back to it. So I said, shoot, I said, you know what? Video. I'll do video because you can say so much quickly and people kind of will stick with you other than people who really, really like to read. And, you know, I already had, you know, some uh, shows on public television and I was like, all right, it's cool. And that works for me. So I said, I'm going to try to do it. And I said, okay, Terry, I'll do the blog and I'll do it just in a video form. So that's how I actually ended up coming to YouTube and starting the channel. It was all Terry Galeshauser's fault um, and her idea, basically. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Again. All right. Question number three. When did I start? I actually started in the beginning of February of this year. Um, so February 2014. Um, it's been I'm working in my 10th month having this channel right now, and I actually just hit 1,000 subscribers on this Saturday that just passed, which was actually basically yesterday, um, which was the 8th of November. So, I am very happy about that. Um, very happy about that. I, I never thought, you know, 10 months ago that I would have 1,000 people who actually subscribed to and was trying to see what I had to say. So I am just ecstatic at the progress that I'm actually making. And I'm having a great time. So 10 months. It's been 10 months, guys. Next question. Question number four. Where did I get the channel name? It actually came. I was standing in the shower, which I, a lot of my ideas and different characters that I've written for books have come Standing in the shower, standing with the water beating me in my face, and I just go deeper than thought a lot of times. And that was when I actually came. My handle actually is Spill It Boy. So I have the website, which is www.spillitboy.com, and also that's I have a fan page on Facebook. I have um, I'm Spill It Boy on Twitter. That's basically my handle, but I always, I put my channel under James Caldwell, and that's where it's going to actually stay, because the one thing about that, my name, James Caldwell, is never going to change. It's never going to change until I, 
you know, cash in my chips and leave the casino, that's it. As long as I'm living and breathing, I'm going to be James Caldwell. So I left that as that, but the Spill It Boy thing, that's my handle. But, you know, I can change that at any time if I choose to. I don't have to do that anymore. But um, I don't really have a chance, uh, thing to really do with changing James Caldwell. I'm going to be him. And then it just ties everything together. And to hell with it. It's just easier. So, you always can look me up at James Caldwell, but Spill It Boy is actually my little, my little handle. All right, fifth question is, where did you get the, no, I'm sorry. Fifth question is, what's the best part of vlogging? I'm going to say that it's open expression. And also, it's real time. It's in real time. Like I said earlier, I actually I have a um, television show that I was doing with public uh, community television. One, you can't reach but so far with that. The audience is only so far out. Two, you're actually putting together a show. It may be a month before that show actually airs on the channel. All of this is in real time. I get pissed off at 2 o'clock. By 2.30, I could have vented and already put it on my channel. So, um, the and then the open expression. You're able to, on public television, you can talk however you want to talk. But that will actually dictate where you're going to be during the day. You won't be on, if you talk like I talk, you're not going to be on until late at night. So, my shows that I've actually done, I did poetry and things like that. But it was always a cleaned up version and I always was... Censor. I always censor myself. When I vlog, YouTube allows me to say whatever I want to say, and it's always available whatever time of day. So the open expression is the best part. Um, the worst part, which is the next question about vlogging, is... I, I don't know to really say a worst part, because I really, really enjoy it. So I don't really have a worst part. You know, it's always a learning experience. I'm constantly learning. You know, I'm constantly trying new things. And that's me. That's my personality. My personality is really all over the place. I'm always trying something new. So there is no worst part. I am literally really, really enjoying this. You know, I'm enjoying it. It, it just, every day is something new. So there is no worst part as far as I'm concerned thus far. Number seven, what camera do you use? I actually have a Samsung um, Galaxy 4S Mini, and I just use my camera right off my phone. Um, sometimes, I actually, I use my camera on my uh, tablet as well, but not much. I'm usually using my phone camera. All right, number eight. What do you want the subscribers to walk away from your channel with? A moment. That's basically everything. Everything that you're doing when you're entertaining a person um, or just period, you're putting yourself out there, you know, in the media or or on television or whatever. You're, doing, you're always searching to create a moment. I want them to walk away with a moment. I don't care what your moment is. It could be something that you learned. It could be an aha moment. It could be just a moment where you stop thinking about the bills and all that shit. If it's, you know, just one moment where you had some peace of mind, you know, if that, if I can do that for you, then I've done what it is I've set out to do. So that would be my answer. My answer, I'm wanting everybody to walk away with a moment, whatever that moment is for you. That's what I want you to walk away with. Um, number nine tips for vloggers. Um, again, I'm pretty new, so I, I have to say. Just stay up on your videos. Stay, stay up on your videos. Stay up on the promises that you make. Me personally, I really, really value my subscribers. Okay, because I remember starting out, I remember when there were <laughs> no subscribers, when there were no comments, and I was just out there putting out videos, and it was like, does anybody even know I'm here? So I really, really value my subscribers, and that's kind of how a lot of the the uh, channel has uh, grown to be what it is because I do a lot of reviews 
for shows. That was not my idea. I wasn't really wanting to do reviews about things. Again, my girlfriend Terry said, why don't you do a review to get started? Review um, RuPaul's Drag Race. I mean, I've been watching this since it's been in existence. I'm a big television watcher. So that was fine. I said, that's fine. I can, you know, I think I'll be able to pull that off. And that's how that started. And then the other shows that I do, people have come to me and said, James, why don't you do this show? Or can you do that show? And I'll try and I'll do it. But if I say I'm going to do it, I do it. So that's the tip that I have. If your subscribers ask you to do something and you say you're going to do it, do it. You know, do it, and they'll they'll keep on because those thousand people that I have, those people came from my subscribers. My subscribers went out there and they got those people, and they brought those people to this channel. That you know, I, I didn't do that myself. Trust me, I didn't. I mean, I did my own talking and things like that, but. I'd have to say 85% of the subscribers that I have came from somebody else who came to the channel who brought them or someone sent them. So I keep my word. Keep your word to your subscribers, and I think you'll be fine. That's the tip that I have. Okay, next, number 10. How do you start a channel? Just like everything else you do. Um, people ask me this always about writing books. You start by sitting down and writing. You start by sitting down and vlogging. You know, there's nothing else that you can do. You're not going to be able to prepare and try to turn the camera on and start damn talking. Boom. There you go. You just started vlogging. That's all I have to say about that. Number 11. Vloggers you like. Wow. Um. Okay, guys. There's a lot. I'm not going to be able to mention everybody, but I will tell you who I watch constant. Um, Mr. Still Standing. Uh, for its rocks, much love and KY Nina. I love Nina. Nina just is crazy. I love her, love her, love her. Jamila TV, Squeaky Jones is my girl. Um, Say Sean Bradley, love him. I uh, cemented the ghetto view, thick chick vlogs, smoke break 314. Um, Chanel J TV. These are people that I literally watch on a constant basis. Um, and I know I'm going to forget some people, but I apologize. But I do, I, I take a lot of time watching other vloggers because that's what I was doing before. I, I did watch vloggers before I actually started. Um, and I just, you know, I continue watching. Even with doing my own videos, I continue watching. And definitely Funky Dineva, T.S. Madison. Um, yeah. Those are who I watch. So definitely, if you don't have any of those people and have to subscribe to them, subscribe to them. Go out, check them out. Check them out. Because I'm always sitting somewhere laughing, listening to these guys. Um, number 12, goals for your channel. My goal is to just continue just like I am. I'm very happy with what I have going on. And I hope it actually continues. I hope I get more people. You know, I, I, I love the atmosphere that my channel has. We don't fight and we don't argue. We agree to disagree. I hope it just continues like that. You know, very seldom do we have an episode where somebody's carrying on. And generally when I do, my people kind of take care of it. I don't too much have to really deal with it. They kind of take care of it and say, hey, we do that here. You know, so I just hope that the atmosphere of my channel builds at the rate that it is. And I hope the atmosphere does not change. And I'm going to work very diligently to make sure it does it. We're going to be good to each other. You know, and that's something that I said in the beginning when I first started. I'm going to be good to you. You'll be good to me. And that's the rapport we're going to have. So I would definitely like to keep that going. Um, number 13. Will you do collaborations? I am very open to collaborations, very open to it. You know, again, I, there's not too much that I won't try. Uh, number 14, what editing software do you use? I actually really don't at this point. Um, I'm definitely going to move on into that because, again, like I said, I'm always learning. I basically, I shoot straight from the hip. So I'm not really at a point where I'm doing a bunch of editing. Um, maybe if I get tongue-tied about something, I'll go and do a little... Um, trim, but I do that right on YouTube, you know, I don't do a whole bunch of editing, basically, you get what you get, 
whatever comes up comes out and we deal from there that's kind of that's my thing I've always been, you know, it comes up, it comes out, it is what it is, and I, most times I'm not going to apologize for it, no way, so it is what it is, I don't need to edit it out, because I goddamn meant it. All right, uh, last question, number 15, is how does your family feel about your channel? Um, you know what, my family, they don't pay me my, too much attention, they really don't, they don't pay me too much attention, they know I'm all over the place, it's kind of just what I do. Um, they know my mouth can be tragic. Um, and it, it's not that they have to skate around. They don't have to skate around me. Because, see, I'll vlog about whatever. Like, if something ticks me off, I'll vlog about it. If something makes me happy, I'll vlog about it. And I do reviews and stuff. They don't really, like, my big fan, they don't kind of, like, follow me. You know, the my subscribers, for the most part, are people who I've met through my journey and YouTube, my family needs to understand, and I think they pretty much do. I vlog about my life, okay? And there's not really much that I will hide. I'm not a hider. I'll say it. If I think it or if I go through it, I will talk about it. Stay the hell out of my lane, and then you don't have to worry about anything sideways coming out of my mouth about you. Now, if you step on my toes... Nine times out of ten, you'll find your ass in a vlog. You know, those are just the rules. I tell my story. Let yourself not be a part of my story, and then you won't have any problems. So I think that the family kind of understands that. And, you know, what can they do? You can't do anything about it. Stay out of my lane. If you stay out of my story, then we don't have any problems. And my kids are just too young. They don't, you know, my youngest one, the seven-year-old, he for some reason now is thinking it's kind of, he's like, oh, I want to make a video like daddy. I'm like, yeah, okay. You better not be saying the shit that daddy be saying. You know what I mean? But that's basically it. So, like I said, this is my tag video. I am a vlogger. Um, I hope you heard something that made you laugh. I hope you found out something about me that you did not know. And, hey, let's just keep doing what we're doing, guys. Thank you so much again for clicking on the video. And all the other YouTubers, if you're seeing this video and you haven't actually done this, hey, take some time out and do this. This was fun. It was cute. Go ahead and let us know some things about you that we don't know. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.